This is Cooking with Tea. Through love, we are here to care enough to share. And I'm going to share this amazing recipe with you, the smoked turkey and wide egg noodles. First, I added these chopped onions, dried chopped onions. I had previously added some other seasons, but I'll be sure to include them in the description box below because I didn't know the camera wasn't on. So, right here you see me adding those chopped dried onions. I have some uh, basil and this is complete seasoning. That's fresh basil there, some cilantro I believe. And now we're going to add this cayenne pepper, about a half a teaspoon of that. And I'm going to add this paprika, about a tablespoon and a half of that. Even though smoked turkey already has a smoky flavor, I like it extra. And why not this W sauce? Added that, made a powerful punch to this recipe. This flavor was totally awesome, guys. Now I'm going to add in these lima beans, Fort Hook lima beans. They're frozen kind. entire bag. This is an old school recipe from my grandmama them. <laughs> Way back. I just added my own touch to it. Okay, and I added about a cup of water. And you'll see me continually add water throughout the process. But this is where we start and we'll let that cook down before we continue to add water. This is butter, about three tablespoons of butter. And check your water level around this pot to see where I'm at at this point. Cover that Dutch pot. Um, with this lid and the process of cooking in this Dutch pot totally made a difference. Look at that. So pretty much that turkey was smoking with that low level of water. Now I've added another cup here. I, mean, I think it's about approximately a cup. I'm trying to show you that here. And let that cook down some more with the lid on. Check your fire level to make sure you're at a medium high, a medium low heat. Let that cook for about 15 more minutes and you'll see that meat starting to fall off the bone but not quite ready. And the end process will be that meat totally disconnecting from that bone. Continue to cook. Until you get your desired level uh, of tenderness from that meat. I chose to add in another cup and a third, one third of the water a cup and one third. And then I'm going to add in these amazing Miller's wide egg noodles. That's what I chose to use. That's the knot to the past, guys. I hadn't had these in years. But it, it, it came out really good well it tasted awesome i hope you're cooking with me are you going to try this recipe in the future now you see you have more noodles here than you have water but don't worry we're going to add more water but first we add this 
tablespoon of salt or salt seasoned to taste. Here more water is being added, another cup and a third, and then another cup and a third. I want to bring it up so that those noodles will cook effectively, but I don't want to drown the noodles. So you see here how much is added. All the noodles are not covered, but don't worry, they will cook all the same. That's due to this amazing Dutch pot. So you cook down about 10 minutes and check your water level and see where your noodles are at. If you like it, cover it again and let it continue to cook. When you have found your desired level of the uh, tenderness of the noodle, you add in this frozen spinach. Now you can choose to not to add it or add it. I needed some color and I love spinach as well. And it was a great addition to this meal. So pushing it all down to get it incorporated into the complete pot and let it cook. At this point, I'm going to remove the bones because that meat is so tender. You don't want to leave those big old bones in there because these were some huge turkey wings, smoked turkey wings. So I'm just removing all of the bones, except that little wing piece, I left that in there because the skin is still on it for some additional flavor. Look at that meat just falling off that bone as I shook that bone. Eat up guys, comment and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for your support. Love you.